Hello everyone, I'm Jing Chen. I'm satisfied to be here to share our work, Automated Creative Optimization for E-commerce Advertising. It's from Alibaba Group, USTC and USTC. This work was done when I and Gang Wei Jiang were at Alibaba for intern. In this work, we focus on advertising creatives and explore the optimal selection with respect to the visual appearance. Advertising creatives, as shown in the right figure, are ubiquitous in e-commerce advertisements, and aesthetic creatives may improve the click-through rate of the products. Nowadays, smart advertisement platforms provide the function of compositing creatives based on the source materials provided by the advertisers. The creatives should be clicked with high probability when they are advertised. It corresponds to the optimal selection problem. However, there are several challenges. First, the combinatorial composition of elements leads to an exponential exploration in the number of candidate creatives. Second, because of the limited advertising budget, each product is usually displayed several times within a day. When portrayed to a large number of its generated creatives, the feedback becomes extremely sparse. Furthermore, creatives in e-commerce ch change frequently over time, so that cumulative feedback for out-of-date products may be not useful any longer. Therefore, it is extremely difficult to estimate the click-through rate for each generated creative ac accurately. It is possible to apply simple modules such as factorization machine to predict the CDR of the creative. However, interactions between elements may be more complex than in a product. Moreover, the estimated CDR is of high variance due to the extremely sparse feedback. To address these two issues, we propose an automated creative optimization framework to module complex interaction between elements of the creative and to strike a balance between exploration and exploration. The whole framework consists of two parts, modeling the complex interactions and efficient exploration methods. FM models interaction between elements of creatives based on the inner product so that creatives with similar composited elements are similar represented. Through our empirical study, we find that the inner product does not work best. Inspired by the automated machine learning, we propose one-shot search algorithms for searching effective iteration functions between elements efficiently. The interaction function family to search can be defined by extending the multiple operators in the inner product to the operator set max, min, plus, multiply, contact over operation aware embedding and replacing the sum pooling operation with a fully connected network. As for the high variance of the estimated CDR, we apply Samson sampling for efficiently exploring potentially better creatives following the reparameterization repar trick in VAE. We develop stochastic variational inference to estimate the posterior distribution of parameters. Let we have a look at the interaction function search. Firstly, we analyze the interaction functions to estimate the CDR. The FM is a classical method to model interactions based on the inner product. The inner product may not yield the best performance in many recommendation tasks due to the complex nature of interactions. A recent work, SIF, which, which searches for the interaction functions between the user and the item embeddings, we are encouraged to capture the complicated interactions between different features. We pick the five simple and popular operations as mentioned in the SIF and conduct offline experiments to demonstrate that different interaction functions between future fields yield different performances. The result 
provide evidence that there exist more appropriate interaction functions between the different elements. Considering all the interactions between different embedding vectors, a straightforward ideal is to obtain the optimal interactions between different elements is to traverse all the combinations. It is NP-hard. We apply an efficient search algorithm inspired by previous AutoML algorithms. We provide the definition of the search problem. Following SIF, we relax the choices among operations as a sparse vector in continuous space, which is represented by alpha here. For each pair of future field i and j, alpha i j denote to the weight vector and the case element of the alpha i j corresponds to the weight of the case operator. The constraint C1 ensures that only one operator would be selected and the constraint C2 makes the algorithm more stable. And finally, we can utilize proximal steps for optimization. An interesting point proposed in FFM and FWFM that filters from one field often interact differently with that from other fields prompts us to the potential distinct influence of operators on future embeddings. The frequent change would affect the computation of the gradient and the resulting pool convergence. Noticing that the joint optimization for the operator weights and the embedding vector, we designed the operation aware embedding module, shorted as AOE, which assigns different embeddings for each operator. The introduction of the operation aware embedding removes the interferences of other operations when optimizing embeddings and may lead to better learning. And last, we utilize the logistic regression for CDI estimation. Another important part is the efficient exploration. Limited impressions of the product result in the extreme sparsity of feedback. Each candidate creative would be displayed with few impressions so that the CDR predictor comes with high variance. Thus, we utilize the Thompson sampling for efficient exploration. A general process of Thompson sampling includes the following steps. First, assume a prior distribution with respect to the parameters, usually the Gauss distribution. Then, sample model weights, uh, in other words, the parameters from the posterior and recommend the creative with the maximal probability. After receiving the reward, we can update the posterior distribution. And we again sample module weights from the posterior and continue our algorithms. As the posterior cannot be resolved in the closed form, we utilize variational inference to approximate the posterior. The stochastic variational inference and the parameterization trick is used for optimization. Finally, the objective function is shown as follows. The first one is the divergence between the prior and the posterior of the model parameters, and the second one is the loss function of over the observations. Finally, we conduct experiments on both the synthetic data set and the public data set to evaluate our approach. To further exam examine the performance of our proposed approach, we conduct the experiment on a live production system. Following the synthetic experiments in the previous work, we produce the synthetic data depending on assumed CDR predictor and stimulate the reward for the pro for the proceeding of the bandit, pro bandit, bandit problems. The first figure shows that the good performance of the competing baselines, the interactions between different elements in reach the commonality leverage and lead to better performances for CTR prediction. The proposed auto call method shows superior performance during the whole process. 
The right figure shows that automated interaction function search leads to better performances than a fixed operator. It can be inf inferred that the better interaction of functions for different future fields are found out via the ML method. We also compile the exploration method and test the performance of the operation while embedding in our work. And we admit here for due to the time limitation, we, we admit here. Seven, we conduct experiments on the public data sets to verify the performance of the proposed autocode. Our experiments are conducted on the two common Bennett data sets, the mushroom and the adult data set. We report the regret of the algorithms to verify the effectiveness of interaction function search and the efficiency of exploration methods. In Table 4, all the algorithms utilize the Thompson sampling for exploration, and the autocode has the lowest accumulated regret. The good performance of the autocode indicates that the complex interaction functions rather than the single operation enhance the power of modeling relationships between the different elements. In Table 5, we compare our method with various exploration methods. We can conclude that Thompson sampling via variational inference can indeed increase the performance. We, exam we examine the performance of our proposed the algorithm on the online system. Our experiments are conducted on one display advertising position of a famous e-commerce company, in other words, in Alibaba. We generate more than 219,000 creatives, satisfying visual constraints covering 1,000 popular products. In addition to the element feature, mentioned before, we utilize the categorical feature of products as well as the contextual information of product images. We performed the experiment for six consecutive days. Traffic for this experiment was randomly and equally separated to the algorithms. Each algorithm got more than 150,000 impressions per day. The model was updated every hour using the data collection from the beginning to the last latest hour. In our offline experiments, we found that the interaction functions do not change frequently after several epochs, which is also declared in the previous work. In order to reduce the burden of online updating, we do not frequently search the interaction functions. As shown in the figure, the six days online experiment shows the superiority of our approach autocode. Although the autocode is merely comparable in the first two days, the significant improvement is achieved in the third day. In the following consecutive three days, the autocode steadily improved the performance. This indicates the quick convergence of the proposed method, which is essential for the online advertisement. That's all for our work. Thank you.